What is going on guys? Nonstop here and I got a game for you on Villa with uh, Golden AK-47 Ground War Domination with the normal setup, you know, Hardline, Sleight of Hand Pro and Marathon Pro. And I was thinking I need to get Hardline Pro because this is just getting a little ridiculous. I've had Hardline forever now. It's just I don't want to use the care package or any of those care package type perks and, you know, just sharing with my teammates. It just seems a little counterintuitive you know I just got those kill streaks. they should be for me they should be doing work for me not my teammates but that's just my thinking on that but I don't know I just like using those big kill streaks and having those all those kills all for me you know seeing all those points line up on the scoreboard and all those plus 50s and plus hundos you know just makes me feel good so today I was kinda getting all my stuff ready for classes tomorrow cuz it's the first day of all my new classes that I'm taking and yeah I was just getting all my stuff ready just getting all all my like my backpack situated and I'm like looking for my iPod because I need my iPod when I'm like walking to class like or eating lunch or something while because uh, most people are just like going on their own way doing their own things so there's not really anybody to talk to and uh, yeah everyone's taking their own classes so basically you're by yourself most of the time so you just want to listen to some music you know get get in a little chill zone you know just relax and uh, yeah couldn't could not find my iPod and uh, yeah, so I just I started looking around my whole room, uh, like a quick walkthrough, you know, just maybe I'll find it really quickly, but couldn't find it. Then I did like a more thorough walkthrough, and I was just checking everywhere. I, I like took my futon mattress off, like looking in the futon, like the metal the metal base of it and everything. Looked underneath there, looked underneath like my dresser, behind my dresser, uh, behind like my desk, behind like my wardrobe thing could not find it. it was like getting on my hands and knees like looking everywhere couldn't find it I was getting so mad I was like panicking I was like where did my iPod go did I leave did I leave it somewhere did I lose it eventually I called my parents and asked them if I left in the car there when I was when they brought me down here but they said that they, it wasn't there I was like oh gosh where did I put it and I, then, I, then I was thinking then I like started looking like the trash can I was like did I like took all the trash out I was like oh my gosh did I throw it in the trash accidentally or something or did it get bumped in there where is this uh, iPod at? Then I was thinking, oh, did someone steal it when I like left my door open? Real when I like just went and grabbed a drink real quick, like some ninja dropped into my room and just yoinked my iPod and just dashed away somehow. I don't know how, but crazy things have happened. But yeah, so I just I just let it be for a while. I was, I was thinking I might have just had to uh, put music on my phone and just go that way. But yeah, so I just took a little break and. I don't know. Just sat on my futon and just, just forgot about it for a while. Then I just, then I, then later I get up and I go to my desk to like grab something. And what do you know? Where's my iPod? It's on the desk, like pushed back a little bit out of my line of sight, so I can't see it. And guess who feels a little silly there? A uh, silly goose, I do. But of course, it's like right, in, like next to me. I, I looked on that desk too, and gosh, just a common ordinary place, not in the trash can and. That's usually how I find it to be. Like it's not in the crazy out there, out of the way places. It's just usually just right in front of you, and you're just too blind to see it. But yeah, crisis was averted. Uh, iPod was found. <laughs> I guess that kind of mini panic attack leads me into my next story, and that's uh, I watched this show on TLC, the True Life Channel. I don't normally watch that channel. I was just like flipping through the channels, but I uh, watched. Uh, I was, I was watch. I, fl I, ch I flipped onto this channel called Hoarders, and if you if you don't know what Hoarders is, it's uh, this show where basically people uh, who hoard stuff, like they have, I think there's one where like people are they're hoarding food, or they, I saw this one where they're hoarding animals before. I think I'm not sure, but yeah, this one I watched. It was uh, this lady. Th there's two people. This one lady, she was hoarding like dolls and like pieces of cloth and stuff, and like just filled up her house like. That's like basically what this all is. Like their whole house is just filled with random crap. Like they can barely move around. Like they have these little aisles in the house to move. But yeah, there's just no room. And then there's this like army guy or whatever, or ex marine guy, and he was hoarding like uh, like mil like mil like equipment like uh, I don't know like he had like a tractor like a a digger thing I guess I don't know what to call it. But he said like he had like a fire engine fire truck in his yard just bunch of this random crap like just tons of crap in his yard and he was like about to get uh the city was about to like take all this stuff away and i don't know clean up his yard for him so he'd lose all his stuff but yeah but uh basically the main theme of the show is all these people are just basically depressed or about something or something traumatic happened in their life and they just start 
taking in all this stuff that they don't need and so just becomes a huge problem for them later so basically all these hoarders they have like an excuse for why they need every single thing that they have in their yard so they have an excuse for everything but the ex uh, marine guy he had like another marine buddy come over and the guy was like asking him why he needed uh i don't know it's like a a tractor or something and the guy was like because it can turn on a dime and like in no time at all like so why do you need it then like are you ever gonna need a tractor and then uh yeah, just they have an excuse for everything why they need something. Like, uh, I don't know, the, the guy like pointed at the fire engine, like why you needed that, he gave some excuse for that. Like, I'm sure you could ask them why they need like a paper bag or something that's just laying, like that's waterlogged and like just laying on the ground, but they, and they'd find a reason that they need it. Just craziness, I don't know. It's like a disease pretty much, I think. But, yeah, crazy. And, uh, the funniest thing that happened during the show was like, the uh, the doll lady, like she hoard, she, the lady who hoarded dolls. She had like a hundred or two hundred dolls in her house, and her house wasn't that big. But basically, they're like companions to her. Like she would, she was like she was like brushing one of them. There's ha the hair of one of the dolls, and she started like reading a book to it. It was like really crazy, you know. And uh, she had like this like psychiatrist guy came over and like I don't know, he was like assessing her or something or asking her questions and. He asked her if it would be, like, like as a hypothetical, if he could, like, take a doll, like, it wouldn't happen ever. And she was like, hmm, like, she had to think about it, like, if he could take it for, like, a, a short period of time. And she she had to think about it for a while. She's, like, a little nervous about it. She's like, I guess it would be okay if you if you would do that. He's like, okay, could, can I do that right now? And she's like, um, how long are you going to be taking the doll for? And he's like, only, like, 60 se How about 60 seconds? She's like, okay, I guess you could take it for a minute. He's like, okay, is it all right if I uh, take it out of the room? And she's like, uh... He's like, and then he was like, basically he was like stepping it up to see how far he could go with her. But he's like, I'll only, it'll only be gone for 60 seconds, and I'll just be outside the room. She's like, okay, I guess so. And I swear, this lady lasted for like uh, 15 seconds once he, once the guy got out of the room. Like, she, uh, she started complaining that she was getting really hot or whatever. She's, she's like, oh, I'm getting really hot. Like, she was like telling the cameras to go away or something. Cause she was getting hot and like she had to step out of the room because th that's where the dolls were and basically the the psychiatrist guy like knew what she was doing like it was obviously just a ploy to try and get to see her dolls to make sure if they're all right like she couldn't she could not go more than 15 seconds without seeing her dolls like that's how crazy kind of crazy crazy this lady was but yeah she was uh she was a little attached to those dolls let me say like I swear, I think she was like walking, like at the beginning of the show, she was walking the. She's like, in, she was like using like a carriage or something, and she was like walking one of her cats and like a doll in there, like I don't know, just a little, little crazy, little off the deep end. But then like right at the end, like she was like, like they were getting rid of some of her stuff or whatever, and like her daughter was helping out, and her daughter uh, asked her if it would be okay if. Uh, she could like take one of the dolls away or something like or get rid of one of the dolls like and she was like talking bad about the doll saying it was like so ugly or something and uh, the lady would like just freaked out on her she was like what? you don't you don't talk about the dolls like that Th these are my companions or friends or whatever but yeah she's a little crazy but yeah that was like my little story about the show hoarders a little craziness on there I'm not sure how these people turn out afterwards, like a like a few months after. But usually, when the cameras come back in like a week or so, like all the stuff's gone. But I've I've heard like from people that uh, these people like regress or whatever, and they start doing their hoarding again. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Uh, I'm nonstop, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.